Chapter 13 Penance Amicia! Amicia, you won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the slate! That's not true, he was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh! If you don't play by the rules... You're gonna tell me... Hugo! ...about rules! I keep telling you! Have you him. seen Hugo? Hugo! Hey! Hugo! Where are you, kid? Hugo! Hugo! Oh, no. He's... gone. Called it. Okay. Oh, my head. <sighs> gently now, gently. Where are we and why are we alone? And can I, I still need, okay. Don't stop, go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia, think. How would you even know which direction our mom is at? Is that a, a, a village? Here? Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Lavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door! I'm going to find him! All right, but be careful. This has got to be like a dream or something, right? An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I don't know. I I did everything I could to protect him. Even horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Yeah, this is like a dream. Mother? Alicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you alright? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Uh, I wasn't even touching you, Hugo. Oh, 
Where are you? It's him. Hugo. Let me go. He's there. Thank you. Stop shouting. Where's your sister, eh? I don't know. Yeah. She would make a nice little bonus on top. <sighs> Laugh while you can. What happened to you? Amisha! I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Anything else for me to grab? No. Oh, that guy's spazzing out. What's going on? <laughs> He's tweaking. Hey, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. Why did you go off like that? I heard mommy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. Look, Hugo. A flower. It's a daffodil. Do you want it? Of course. You're not too cross, are you? I was scared, Hugo. Me too. Well, it's over now. Lady Daffodil will watch over us. Yes. Daffodil. It is said that it grew from the remains of Narcissus, a mythological figure who died while looking at his own reflection. Symbolizes egoism and selfishness. Despite a marked toxic potential recognized by humanity since antiquity, many European countries have used it to treat tumors, epilepsy, and hair loss to varying degrees of success. So it symbolizes egoism and selfishness. Maybe it is um, selfishness for us blind to Hugo about mom being alive? Mommy! Amicia, it's mommy! What? It's coming from over there! We have to go! No, you're not going! But why? Let go of me! Hugo! Ah, you little brat. I'm coming, mommy! Come back! No, Hugo! There, she's in there! Mommy! Stop! It's not her! Oh shit. I think she's going crazy.